right now I'm half my properties in Queensland, half of it's in New South Wales. I've got an invisible line through the middle being the state border. I can have cattle on the Queensland side, which is legal. If they walk across the river, I'm breaking the law. The floods have had a dramatic impact on a lot of farmers. There's just, the workload has absolutely quadrupled. And so obviously if we can eliminate some of the things and costs in our business, we can remain sustainable. All farming is, is very competitive and you know, margins are constantly under pressure. Um, we rely on using new technologies to, uh, you know, I guess, protect and, and um, you know, build resilience in your business. Not being able to access these technologies you know, really holds us back. It's something that's been on our minds for a long time and we've been watching and watching and we can really see how it would improve the productivity of our business. Um, I think with the increase in natural disasters, something that is really um, important to us is bushfire prevention and having the ability to uh, use virtual fencing in, hopefully we don't need to use it, but in the case where bushfire would be really um, important to getting our stock to a safe spot, particularly when sometimes we are in a remote area. There's a, there's a number of these technologies coming over the horizon and, and virtual fencing's part of a suite that will improve agricultural businesses. We are drafting a uh, regulation to allow virtual fencing to uh, be in operation here in New South Wales. In Australian agriculture, we're the forefront of technology. We have the best regulations in terms of biosecurity. The, the quality that we produce is just, it's, utmost, it's up there in what they can do around the world. I feel we'll be getting left behind by not ha having access to these type of technologies. Um, so yeah, if this doesn't go through or the timeline that they've mentioned today doesn't happen, it'll be a disappointment and it'll be a backward step. The challenge is, is you, you hear from New Zealand and Tasmania how dramatically things have changed there and we're going to get left behind compared to other dairy farmers and so basically we're just going it, to, it's going to be a huge productivity pause in our, in New South Wales. This technology is there, it's been used, it's been tested and trialled and proven. Um, why it's not allowed here already is beyond me. You know, it is working, it is for farmers' benefits and I believe it's good for animal welfare as well.